Uh, I thought we played a, a good first half, especially offensively. I thought we took really good shots and showed a lot of patience. Shot 56% in the first half and uh, made six threes and really liked the way we played offensively uh, in the first half. Unfortunately, we didn't make some of those same shots in, in the second half. And I thought our defense was a little better in the second half. Our effort was better, but we just didn't have an answer for 22. Saisha all night, 30 points and 19 rebounds. And obviously, that was the difference of the game, our inability to keep her off the glass. And I thought she was really good. And, and we just didn't do, didn't do a great job of keeping her from getting boards. And part of that's our lack of length and part of the inability just to get somebody on her and, and rebound as a team. But uh, I thought she was a difference maker in that game. I was proud of uh, Alexis and uh, coming off the bench. And Taylor, I thought, had her best game of the year coming off the bench. So that was encouraging. And Amber stepped up and made shots throughout and was active on the defensive end talking as well. So that's where it's at. Yeah, I said the last two games she played had double doubles the last two games and you know and played really good against those teams and I said she's playing really well of late, really rebounding of late. And uh you know, and credit her, you know, uh, Tiana was at Michigan and that kid didn't play at all the first two years and kept a good attitude and kept working at it. And now she's reaping those rewards. So give her a lot of credit. Can you on her Livingston and just her foul trouble? Yeah, we actually wanted to play Ivory on her. Ivory's our best post defender and uh, her foul trouble really hurt us in that first half. We wanted to be able to play Ivory on her, but, um, you know, just her getting in foul trouble hurt us and uh, kept us from being able to do that as much as we'd like. Um, well, coming off the bench, my focus just to contribute in any way, whether it's finishing open shots or, you know, pressuring the ball um, up top or just doing anything I can to um, to help our team. Amber, did you feel like getting back in the starting lineup gave you a little bit different mentality into, into, into the game itself uh, as opposed to when you come off the bench? Um, I don't think so. Just being aggressive whenever I get in the game. Um, just trying to help out on defense and especially in the buzz and the uh, fists. Um, just being really active and getting tips and lives and just having that energy for the team. <coughs> Two had a her three was big on top, um, but then just you know too many offensive rebounds inside. The second chance points really hurt us. Uh, even down the stretch, we just didn't inability to get rebounds. Uh, I thought we got great shots. Um, you know, Alex or uh, Ivory fouling out hurts a little bit. The last no matter whatever two minutes or whatever she was out, but um, I thought we got really good shots on, on that end. We just uh, didn't limit them quite quite enough and, and put them on the foul line a little too much. Um, this is probably one of my best games um, since I've been at Illinois. Is it career high for points? I believe so, yes. Remember, is it kind of hard to get around the fact that this team doesn't want to take that game yet? That, that would seem to be kind of inconceivable going into the season a little bit. Yeah, um, I think the Big Ten is a, a very um, competitive league and um, we're, we're trying to fight and we're, we're practicing hard every day. We just have to bring it to the court and hopefully next game we get that. Do you think that maybe having um, so many upperclassmen is maybe contributing to the fact that you guys aren't getting the numbers that you need? Yeah, we don't want to make any excuses though. We feel like we, we beat Michigan State who's uh, in the second team, second in the conference. So, you know, we. We have enough ability on the court to win basketball games. Certainly did today, and just didn't get it done. What are you looking to do differently in the next year? Um, well, we rebound a little better. <laughs> they didn't, they didn't, they didn't get as many rebounds as we did. So rebound uh, more as a team, do a better job leaving the zone. Um, that'd be probably the biggest focus. Now, what do you take away from this game? What, what is your perspective? Is it encouraging, or how would you encourage it? Yeah, yeah, I'm really encouraged by the crowd. You know, we had 3,000 fans here today. Really appreciate the community come out and support in the pink zone game. And we're really appreciative of that and appreciate the community backing us. And I just want to grow the program. Just want it to be better. 
and try to figure out how to do that. Yeah, you know, I thought we, we talked about getting to first base, and that's playing hard. We're not there yet, but uh, um, at times we're probably closer than we have been. We're certainly close, a lot closer than we were against Iowa. We weren't very close against Iowa. But we're playing hard. Is it disappointing being this late in the season still not getting consistent effort? Yeah, I think that's one of the things we're struggling right now is different players step up different nights, but then we, we don't, can't rely on that same, the same kid. And it's hard playing time-wise to know, you know who, to, who to put in and, and how, how to play when they play one way the, the, that game and then a different way the next game, and that, that's definitely hurt our, our inconsistency of, uh, as a team is, is hurting our team. We, you know, you've got to have certain players step up and be consistent and be able to be count on game in and game out, and uh, we haven't had a whole, that to the degree we need to. I thought our energy in the second half, I thought Alexis and Taylor brought us a lot of energy uh, in the second half, and we play a lot more aggressively on the defensive end in the second half. I was much more pleased with our defensive effort. Taylor and I guess just what, uh, what today you have played with David in jerseys, what pride do you guys have in, in supporting those today? It's such a great cause with the alumni and survivors today. Go ahead, Tim. Um, this game really means a lot to us, especially, you know, we're in the pink to represent breast cancer. You know, myself have family members that have breast cancer. I'm sure other teammates do. So that, you know, carries a lot of weight as well. And, and it was nice to have our former players come back and watch us play. That, that means a lot, too. Um, just being appreciative of just life in general. Not everybody get, uh, has the opportunity to play basketball, let alone anything else. So just being appreciative every day. Yeah, one of the um, our FCA leaders, Sarah uh, Arnold, her sister, uh, Jen, came and spoke to our team a couple of years ago and has battled cancer for a couple of years and lost that battle this, this last year. And So our players were all close to her and really close to Sarah. So that's been something the program's been through, and it's been, been a hard situation knowing her and, and loving Sarah the way we do. Anything else? All right, thanks.